ကျွန်တော်တို့မကြာခင်မှာမြန်မာနိုင်ငံကိုလေလာရောက်နိုင်ဖို့ရန်အတွက်ကျွန်တော်တကယ်ပဲစုတောင်းတာဖြစ်
And as we read in the passage, the plan that Jesus had for the disciple was that they will cross the sea and go over to the other side. And the Bible tells us to obey the command of the Lord, and then they got into the boat and start to cross to the other side. But midway, they met a storm. And here I see a very similar situation of what is unfolding uh, in your country. As I say, we've been in and out of Myanmar for almost 30 years, so it's a long time. And the, my last few trips to Myanmar, I was so, I mean, so excited and so uh, thrilled to see the development and the changes that happened in Yangon. And it was like the last 10 years, you were crossing over to the other side because I have seen how the country was like 20 years ago, 30 years ago. And I could see that the country was actually crossing over. The church was crossing over to the other side. And just like the disciples in the boat were crossing over on the other side, midway there was a big storm that disrupted they're crossing over. And I see a parallel here that right now it's like you are in the midst of a big storm while you are crossing over to the other side. And now there is that whole uncertainty and the anxieties and the, and the worry and the strain that is there. And just like the disciples, they were feeling at that point of time when a huge storm, I mean, I'm sure they were excited when the Lord said, okay, you go over the other side, I'm going to meet you there. They were all excited, happy, got into the boat. And then when this big storm came, and hit them. They feel fearful. They were anxious. They feel helpless, despair, and, and confused at the same time. What <laughs> is happening? ตะเบรอรีโอซินซาจีบาตรุอสะรุงอ่ะบลောက်ดองเปียวมะเลยโอ้เยซูอ่ะงาโรกโหบะกั้นโซลุเตซูโรตรุเลตัดจั่วปิ
And tonight I got good news for you. Damit die Nyama God did not abandon you and I'm going to show you in this passage that Jesus was with them all the way even from the very start. Di Nyama jono teno go tate bya jene phaya khen jono ro go mason pye phu phaya khen jono ro ne atu shi ni de swa di chan sa ga ne bi jono tate bya jene phaya khen jono ro ne atu du shi ni de now I want you to read verse 46 where the Bible tells us that after Jesus has sent them away, he departed to the mountain to pray. And then verse 47, now when evening came, the boat was in the middle of the sea and he was alone on the land. Then verse 48, note verse 48, then he saw them straining at roving for the wind was against them. ရုံငယ်လေးစချောက်ကနေလေးစရှင်မှာစီဝေးသောဒူတို့ကိုလွှတ်ပြီးမှာစုတောင်းပထနာပြုအန်တော်ကတောင်ပေါ်သို့က
ဒီကျန်းစာမှာပြောပါတယ်အငေလေးစစ်ရှစ်မှာညတုံးချက်တီးကျော်အချိန်၌ရေရှုဟာကြွလာတယ် The Bible says in the fourth watch of the night Jesus came to them walking on the sea. ရေရှုကသူတို့အနာကိုရေပေါ်မှာလမ်းရှောက်ပြီးတော့ကြွလာတယ် Now this is very interesting because they left the shore got into the boat and headed towards the other side and midway they were hit by a storm but Jesus only came to them at the fourth watch of the night အဓာက အရင်းစေး ဝင်စားစီ အကောင်းတွေ ဘာကြောင့် လေဆိုတော့ တပဲတွေက ည အချိန် ရောက် ခရေးက နေ ပြီး တော့နော် သူတို့က ထွက်လာပြီး ဖြစ်တယ် ဒီ လေပ် ကို စီး ပြီး တော့ တပက် ကောင်းကို သွားဖို့ လာတယ် အဲ့ဒီမှ land တော့ဝ ਇ ရောက်တဲ့အခါမှ moon night တိုက်တယ်ဒါမှာယေရှုကြွလာတဲ့အချိန်က ည အတုံးချက်တီအချိန် ဖြစ်တယ် You see the Jews divided the night into four different watches of 3 hours each ဂျူရေ The first watch begins at 6 o'clock. The second watch is at 9. The third is at 12. And the fourth is at 3 o'clock in the morning. Later di chain so no manat 3 nai phit ni bi. Okay, just now we read in the passage they left in the evening. So that means between in the first watch about 6 o'clock onwards or maybe even 7 or 8 o'clock they left on the boat. And then they hit the storm right in the middle probably during the second watch the storm hits them. But Jesus did not go to them until 3 a.m. in the morning. အဲ့တော့ဒီမှာဒီတပဲတွေထွက်လာတဲ့အချိန်ကညက်နေညအချိန်ဆိုတော့ပထမဦးဆုံးချိန်ညက်နေ <laughs> and i'm sure during that quote and quote long hours of waiting where are you jesus where are you jesus don't you know we are about to be drowned and that that is that whole fear in them and probably that thought in them really god why aren't you coming now debate level တပဲတွေလည်းခံစားမှာဖြစ်တယ်ဒီအကြာမျက်နှစ်အချိန်ကာလကြားထဲမှာယေရှုဘရောများလာမလဲယေရှုဘရောများလာမလဲကိုရော
So keep your faith and your hope in him. The Bible tells us that when Jesus got into the boat, the storm subsided. And this is the key. When Jesus gets into our boat, the storm subsides. And as we wait on him and call upon his name and seek him, welcoming his presence into our life, his presence in us will stop the storm. Tonight, the Lord is saying, the storm will come to an end. Dawn is coming. It's the fourth watch that Jesus came to them. The fourth watch is about the time when morning is about to break. ဒါကြောင့်လို့ဒီညမှာဖျားကပြောနေတယ်ဖျားယေရှုရဲ့အချိန်ကိုဆောက်မှာတတိယအချိန်တော့ဒီမနတုံးချက်မနတုံးနိ
God's goodness and kindness has no limits to it. And neither does God change his mind along the way. Yes, there can be disruptions that come along the way, storms that come and, and messed up everything. But always remember this, that God's the plan and God's intention do not change. It could have been delayed, disrupted, but it cannot be stopped. So that's why we must always remember and look back at God's faithfulness. In the past, God has done this for me. He can do it again. And therefore, I can pray with hope and faith for better days ahead. นอกจากนั้นนี่กวยตาดิปิตนาดิจงกองจงยานัยนี่ดาบิเมพยาธิกิจจันทร์เสียมะปยองเลยตัวบูดาจองพยาธิกิจไต่มางาปอมะกองเ
what they were out at sea. เราอเงตงสะคอนตงสะชิมาบะโลอยาริโกตรุตินเคตตะนาเลสราวจนอรุจิยาอ๋อดามะเบตรุมုံတိုင်းเนี่ยจုံยาเรคามะมะโซยิ
when the Bible said we are the new creation in Christ, the Bible is saying we are both a person with new character and also new capabilities. Brothers and sisters, I want to say this to you. You were in the darkness. Believe it because God believes in you. There's things around us can look bad, but we are not controlled by the things and the circumstances around us. We are not led to our, by our own strength. We are led by the power of the Holy Spirit. ကျွန်တော်တို့ဟုတ်တယ်ပတ်ဝန်းကျင်မှာတော့ဖြစ်ပြတ်နေရတယ်အများကြီးရှိတယ်ဒါပေမဲ့တွေအရာတွေကျွ
as, as you receive them, align yourself to these plans and strategies that he gives you. Any Nila the Yashi be so ye, any Nila a die, Sanedja Tashima. Plans and strategy for your personal growth and advancement in the midst of the darkness and the chaos that is there. Poya Tata, Tota Poya, and to every agency, Piatke, Popiare, Nila ne die, season and die, Liloba. Plans and strategy that you can be a blessing in the midst of the cures and the challenges. So don't be led by fear. Let be led by good plans and strategies. Amen. And as you seek God and wait on him, God will show you the paths to take. He will guide you and he will lead you. This is the beautiful thing about God. Because he is the living God, he hears us. He understands what is happening and he has ideas and, and wisdom what to do. So yes, align yourself to good plans, to good ideas, to good strategies. Don't allow fear to grip you and paralyze you. The Bible tells us in Saint Corinthians chapter ten, verse thirteen, that with every trial, with every testing, there is always a way of escape. So, look for that way of escape. And for us who are people of God, that's why it is important for us to first recognize that. God has been faithful in the past, and the faithfulness of God is a guarantee of his faithfulness for the present. In the past, he has let us out. In the past, he has delivered us. In the past, he has done those great things for us. He can do it again. That is our God. <laughs> he didn't bring us this far to abandon us. He didn't do this much for us. And then all of a sudden, now that there is a situation and there is this storm and he say bye-bye and he goes away. <laughs> See, he have led us this far. He will continue to lead us because he is a faithful God. So having understand that and keeping that in our heart, and then now we need to realize he is a faithful God. He has deposited his life into me. I am a person of capability and capacity. Yes, naturally speaking, I don't have much. 
But I am a new creation. I'm not alone. And this is the consciousness that we need to live with every day as God's people. And, and this is what through our Bible study daily and our prayer with God daily should create in to create this consciousness in us that we are a new creation in Christ. And that new creation is a person that has been filled with the life and the power of God. Yes, by receiving Jesus and, and, and reading the word of God and, and walking with God, I am now a better person with a better character, with better values. I am uh, a, a, a good person in that sense, but I am also more than that. I have now new capabilities, new abilities that on my own that I don't have, but which is found in God. And now he can stir and, and create those new capacities and capabilities in me. And the way God does that is when we recognize that we are the new creation, we are now more confident and therefore we are able to open ourselves to pick new things and to, to attempt new things. And as we do that, that's where we learn new things and new capabilities and abilities are now added to us. And now as we recognize those things, we can now go for, like what I said earlier, to, to search for that way of escape, knowing that whatever situation, whatever trance, whatever testing that I'm in, there is always a way of escape. There is no dead end for me because I am all this. <laughs> So, my brothers and sisters, in the midst of that, this challenging environment and situation that you're in, seek God for the wisdom, seek God for the knowledge, seek God for the creative ideas. To be out of it. Now there is a scripture that all of us are very familiar with and which we quoted very often, Jeremiah 29, I think it was uh, 11, where it, 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 where it says that God says, I know the plans that I have for you. And, and when we quote that, we don't understand the context in which that verse was given to us. You know, that verse was spoken at a time where the nation of Israel was in bondage and in exile. They were conquered by another country. And everything was like destroyed and they were taken away and held as captives by the conquerors or by 
their enemies who came and conquered them. Reaching a idrela luria, the chan nang and the quani through nang and opiazi be tainsi do a change pide, nekonase, a chan nang and madobi junk kayare change pide. And it was in the midst of that darkness and turmoil that they were facing, and everybody is like so confused, so worried and fearful about the future because it is like. Where God future? Where is the future? I don't see any future because we are living under captivity. The only thing I do to a young or so you are a change today. Naru to me only Jim Shibu. Naru to a Pelulu me only Jim Shimele through Pansy and Kantara. Oh, the low song shown a change. You pay our country is gone. Another country has conquered us. And it was in the midst of that, that this worse came where the Lord said, I know the plans that I have, uh, I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then in the context of that, in verse 12, the Lord says, Then you will call upon me and go and pray to me and I will listen to you. And then was 13, and you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. And it was I will be found by you, says the Lord, and I will bring you back from captivity. Right, and here is the thing that I feel God is saying to, to us tonight and encouraging us. He has planned a future for us. He knows what to do. Your part is in the midst of that uncertainty and darkness. Seek him. And how does he answer us? He answers us by giving us ideas, strategies, strategic uh, thoughts, and, and creative ideas. So that in the midst of the darkness, we can thrive and succeed. That's why I say, don't be led by fear. When you are led by fear, you are paralyzed by it. You won't be seeking God for creative ideas. <laughs> you won't be seeking Him for the way of escape. You will be like, deliver me, Lord. And you'll be just every day walking in, in, in hopelessness and despair. เจ้าอยู่ยืนในตัวลุชีเพียงแค่จนกว่านี้แล้วเปบาบิวฮาเปบาตินเปียวรอมาโมโอ้กูรอเกบากูรอเกบาสูบิโรเบออนิโรมา
Strategize, have good plans. And then once you get it, align yourself to it. And more than ever, here in, in, that, in that passage, the Bible says they put them in the ranks of hundreds and fifties. They were working together collectively as a group. And here I see the wisdom of God that in this situation that, that you are in is so important to be united and work together as a group and a team. This is a time where divided you will be devoured. Not don't work alone. Do not work together. But, whatever plans, ideas, strategies that God has given work together as a group and collectively you will succeed and now the final point was 41 after they sat down in in group and as they organized themselves then what jesus did was he took the four loaves and the two fishes and he lifted it up to heaven. Then the Bible says he gave thanks, he blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to his disciples to set before them. Never ever forget God our Father in heaven. He is our source and our supply. And in this feeding of the multitude, Jesus show us a pattern. That on its own, the four loaves is only four loaves. The two fish is only two fish. But when, you, but when the four loaves and two fish is given to heaven, it's leaning on heaven. It's dependent on heaven. Multiplies. God is our source and our supply. Make him that source of everything that you need. In him is everything that we need. And through him, everything that we needed is supplied to us or is brought to us and provided to us. And as a church here too, I mean, over these two years of pandemic that we face, more than ever, we have discovered this whole significant and, and important, uh, what they call that, expect of leaning on God completely and dependent and being dependent on Him. And this is something that the Lord has taught us in the prayer model that He gave to us. It begins with our Father in heaven. 
ဒီတုံးချက်အရေးကြီးပါတယ်နေ့စဉ်စားသောက်ဖို့အရာကျွန်တော်တို့ရဲ့ခွင့်လွတ်ချင်းခံရဖို့ဒီတော်မောင်မ
আখুই আনা শিরে লু রে সিয়ানে যেন রু আকু নি খুকু লু যে এই লু চেন আউলু পে আরে নই লু মেয়ে না লু সে যেন রু পিওরে চাকারি আবার মা আঠা মেয়ে মা আউ মেয়ে নাই মু নো এর আলু মেয়ে ফেয়াগো মেলো মেয়া বাবু with the father is a different a child going to a father to seek help first of all is a very natural thing and then for the father to hear that request and to respond positively is a very natural thing because you are the father ro ta da mi ti yaw ni ne a phe si ma twa bi a ku ni taw na ga ဘာဝရန်ကြာတယ်အဖေတရောက်နေနေလေတာသမီရဲ့အလိုအင်ကိုဖြည့်ပေးတာကအရန်ကိုနက်ချူရဖြစ်ပါတယ်ဘာဝ
that you have not known yet. He will give you the wisdom, the knowledge that you need. And as you seek him and, and pray to him, recognize that he has deposited something into you. You are stronger than you believe Believe there is capacity and capability in your life. And in the midst of where you are at, while waiting for that morning to come, be of good cheer. Don't be afraid. And you can build up that faith and confidence by not forgetting his faithfulness in the past. He has done it before, he will do it again. He didn't take you this far to abandon you. He didn't build you up till now to lose it all completely. So when we think this way and when we Occupy and fill our mind with the faithfulness of God. You so, will be a person with confidence, hope in the midst of the storm and of the darkness. Amen. 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 These are not just uh, difficult times, but also opportunities, opportunistic times. And like Romans chapter 8 tells us, in Christ, through Christ, we are more than conquerors. Amen. 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 Let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, hallelujah, bless you. Father, I pray for my dear brothers and sisters. And I ask, Lord, that the word that has been released to them will achieve and accomplish the purpose for which it is given. I pray tonight that faith, hope, Confidence. Lord, I ask that you will open up the understanding and 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 the spirit of revelation will be given to them. That tonight they will hear that word that you gave to Jeremiah. The word that you give the Jeremiah to the nation of Israel in the midst of the captivity. And you say to them that you know the thoughts that you have towards them. Thoughts not to harm. But thoughts for a bright and a great future. Thoughts for blessing and increase. Lord, tonight I pray for everyone in this room. Did they hear this 
words from you. May they hear you say to them that you have that you know the thoughts that you have for each of their lives. Thoughts not to harm them, but thoughts to give them a future. Thoughts of blessing and the thought of provision and protection. And tonight in the name of Jesus, we declare that this period of darkness and the period of, of uh, difficulty and, and confusion will pass. This night and darkness will not be forever. We declare in the name of Jesus, light is coming and the morning is coming. And I ask Holy Spirit, May you feel every heart and every mind today with the strength and confidence that comes from your word. I pray that each one will rise up to the fullness of the capacity that you have placed in them. Let them begin to believe who they are and what they have received from them. And in the name of Jesus, I pray that the new creation that's been planted in everyone will supersede the old creation and rise up and overtake that old creation. Yeshu namane kaunji pere krito tega lutika lu haungo pecha piro to lu haungi a tema satemi lutika atashin la ziba pa. Bless my brothers and sisters. Kuro tano ye niko marumari kaunji peba. Protect them from all harm and evil. Turo go kweka peba. Lead them and guide them daily. Turo go lambia peba. Nezen lambia ba. May they shine through a of darkness. I thank you, Lord, for everyone today. And I give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Daniel. We are very blessed by the word of God and your prayer. 